are you doing? Karibu sana. This is the business plus and my name is Tahugu. Today we'll be having an amazing episode like each and every other Monday, yeah? but this is a very special episode. Today we are having one of us because we've had him on quite a lot of episodes by now. It's someone you know, it's a very familiar face. We are having Francis Njue. And uh, Francis is the CEO and founder of Hpass which was the very first episode we did for the business class. We, he is also the founder of Hpacer. Um, we talked about it sometime uh, like two months, two, three months ago. He's also the co-founder of 1000 Lenses. Uh, so far, 1000 Lenses is one of my very favorite companies among the companies that he owns, which is doing an amazing, amazing, amazing job. But today we are here to talk about marketing generally. We've been saying that it's, it's good to start a business and most of the time we've started businesses but in a faith do go up for marketing. You have good services, you have good, uh, good goods or even um, the products that you're selling but how to get them to the market is where the problem is. So today we are here to bridge that gap to tell you if you already have a service, if you already have something that you're offering, how do you get it to the market? So Leo, to Bahapa Kongelea Mambo Ya Marketing. If you have any question you'd want to ask regarding that, 0721-105-105, our WhatsApp number is very open. We're also live on Facebook, on MBCI TV Facebook page, and live on YouTube, on MBCI TV official YouTube page. Mr. Francis. Yes, Rachel. How, How are you doing? Good to see you. <laughs> Good again. to see you. <laughs> I think I should now be made a resident. Yes, <laughs> Shakwa, one of us. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. You well? I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, amazing. Yeah. How have you yeah. been since the last time? We've been good. Yeah. We okay. have our people who've started businesses. Uh -huh. We've gotten good feedback. So what do what one of one of the best shop? Great, great. Yes. Yeah, business plus is here to be. Yeah. Exactly. It's a, it's a yeah. good thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, now, how is business? How is H pass? How's H pass? How's one thousand lenses? Um, well, um, business is good. Mm -hmm. uh, business is good. Mm -hmm. um, H pass. I think last time we talked, uh, uh, I had not. Uh, we had not made some strides. Mm -hmm. uh, we were we were um, nominated for a justice um, accelerator program, which uh, we did wow. last year, mm -hmm. and then that was through uh, an organization called Heal. It's based in the Netherlands. Okay. But they have, but they have their foods in Kenya, in, in part of Africa, and all that. So we went to Tunisia. Mm -hmm. That's where the whole world was converging. Mm -hmm. HPAS was one of them. Mm -hmm. We were the only company that was under the crime uh, category, mm -hmm. uh, meaning we facilitate uh, people when they want to access justice, especially when it comes to their data and, and all mm, that, yeah. trying to prevent people getting a lot of data that's not necessary mm. uh, from people. Okay. So that was an element that we mm. got. And uh, yeah, we came back with uh, with some good tidings. Uh, nice. And uh, the, the, the company is still still a startup. I still consider it a startup. Mm -hmm. It's still growing slowly. Yeah, awesome. it's, it's still a startup. Wow. We have big companies out there yeah. <laughs> that are doing great. Mm -hmm. But also in our space, uh, because it's, uh, it's a very small space that we are playing in, mm -hmm. uh, in terms of uh, security, then again, it's, uh, I consider it a startup because mm -hmm. of that. Okay. Uh, HPSA is, uh, is, a, is a new thing. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a new thing in the market, I mm -hmm. think. We launched it uh, in, uh, in uh, August mm -hmm. last year, mm -hmm. uh, so it's still growing, mm -hmm. gaining uh, some good traction. Mm -hmm. I think of, of the companies that have started, this is one that has really made some strong, mm -hmm. fast yeah. strides, yeah. uh, which is which is good. And then also in terms of dynamics, how it's able to move from one one product to the other. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So yeah, mm -hmm. and of this course, this is really very unique. It is, it is, it is, it is, and it's serving a huge market, yeah. a different market. It has the, the, the financial support bit, and mm -hmm. then it also has the gifting bit, which is, which is quite interesting. Like everything, every time we speak to people, whichever side we want to speak to about, mm -hmm. they, they feel excited. Okay. Then 1000 Lenses is the youngest baby. Yes. <laughs> it's the youngest baby. We are rolling out the, 
uh, photography, travel photography competitions from June mm -hmm. in all the counties in Kenya. Mm -hmm. So people should watch out yeah. at least to just see what is happening. Mm -hmm. We are giving opportunities for people to explore different places mm -hmm. and uh, on top of that share their experiences okay. and also market uh, new destinations. Mm -hmm. So I think that will be the place where people will be going to check where are the new hidden gems mm -hmm. uh, across the country and mm -hmm. hopefully uh, and beyond. Mm. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. That's really nice. And uh, the companies are doing very, doing well. Yeah, we thank God. Yeah, we thank God. Well. Yeah. And uh, that is the very particular reason where we felt like you are the best person to talk about what we are talking about today yeah. marketing. Because we have people who have very good services that they offer yeah. and uh, very good products that they have. But how to get it to the market, mm -hmm. that is where the problem is. Yeah. So as I had said as we were beginning this show, is that we are here to bridge the gap Yes. your marketing. Yes. Yes. So in simple terms, what would you say marketing is? Um, personally, I consider marketing is making yourself known. Mm. Uh, just like the biblical me uh, where you have you you do have something nice and then the, the, the lamp and then you don't cover the lamp you put it on the top of the mountain so yeah. most of the most people have very nice products mm -hmm. have very nice goods they have very nice skills mm -hmm. but who knows about them yeah. and it is their responsibility to be known mm -hmm. so it is your responsibility to make yourself known out there mm -hmm. and when you're known then the other bit of marketing is creating a perception okay because people don't really buy what you're selling to them. Mm -hmm. They buy the perception behind it. Because okay. if, if, if I want to have a luxury car, mm -hmm. uh, the luxury car will not sell the car. Mm -hmm. They'll sell the luxury bit of it, okay. how you feel when you're driving it, how people will see you when you're driving it, and all that. If, you, if you're selling a beauty product, it's not a beauty product, but it's how you will feel about it. Mm -hmm. And uh, the effect of it is it is it is it uh, organic? Mm -hmm. It doesn't spoil your skin and all mm -hmm. that. So, marketing has a lot to do with perception. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's for example, you have a Toyota and Lexus. Mm -hmm. It's from same company. From everything is the same, mm -hmm. including the model, but yeah. just the logo mm -hmm. changes everything. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. so it's, it's, it's all about creating a perception, perception. about okay. what you have out there in the market. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. yes, okay. yeah. Let's talk about the perception part now because yes. it's very interesting. Yes, yes. Um, how do you create a good perception mm -hmm. for your service or your goods or whatever you are putting out there? Apart from uh, putting in the work and yeah. making sure that this is a good product, yes. how do you make sure that it has a very good perception to your market? Uh, uh, I would put it in two, two ways. Mm -hmm. One is, um, have people used your product mm -hmm. and what do they say about it? Mm -hmm. So those people that have used it and have, uh, have, uh, have, uh, have, uh, have, have some reviews or have an experience about it, mm -hmm. they are very key on creating the narrative. Mm -hmm. But initially, you have to build your own narrative mm -hmm. of the product mm -hmm. because it comes from messaging. Mm -hmm. What is this first message you're telling people about mm -hmm. what that product or that service that you have, you have built? Mm -hmm. For example, we have so many hotels mm -hmm. out here. Yeah. We have so many beauty products, we have so many types of phone out there. Mm -hmm. But what is this particular message mm -hmm. that you're going to tell about that particular product? Mm -hmm. And that is what you call a unique selling proposition. Okay. So what is this unique thing that you're going to tell about the people? Mm -hmm. And when you tell them, how do you tell them? The how is also important. So how do you tell them? Yeah. How you tell them is determined by who these people are. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because if you're targeting, um, uh, for example, uh, if you're using, for example, a MUSPC product, mm -hmm. and you're targeting people with acne, for mm -hmm. example, the messaging will be different mm -hmm. from when you're targeting any other person who doesn't have any mm -hmm. special skin needs yeah. yes mm -hmm. so that messaging is very very important mm -hmm. and that's what you'll find creates a good perception mm -hmm. about your product okay. yes okay yes wow so how do you 
for example, you let's use an example of I am offering a certain service. Mm -hmm. Now, for this particular example, it's not a product. Yeah. It's a service. Mm -hmm. How do I know that this is my specific market? These are the people that, that I'm targeting so that I won't go marketing to everyone. Yeah. I, now, a target market is very important. Mm -hmm. And when you're doing a target market, there are a couple of things that you consider. I can mm -hmm. name a few. One of them mm -hmm. is um, uh, the, the niche that you want to go for. And when I my niche is, it's a huge market. Mm -hmm. Uh, every time you build a product, it's a huge, huge market. Mm -hmm. But you ask yourself, what is this small niche that mm -hmm. you're going for? Mm -hmm. uh, let me give you an example of a, a bank we all know, mm -hmm. uh, Equity Bank. Mm -hmm. When they started, they said, we want to target the people who are not banked. Mm -hmm. Because all the other banks were banking other people up there. Mm -hmm. But they came and said, you don't even need minimum balance. Mm -hmm. Look what happened. Mm -hmm. Everybody was in that category yeah. came to that particular bank. Mm -hmm. And now, because they knew very well this is their target mm -hmm. market, the language they used to these mm -hmm. people, things like zero deposits. Yeah. Low, so, so you can access loans with very small uh, you know, interest. Uh, interest or yeah. uh, loans of very small uh, amount. Mm -hmm. That way, it mm -hmm. started and they were able to put it. So your niche market is very, very important. Okay. Now, how do you know that mm -hmm. is after you do some research. Mm -hmm. So I encourage people before you jump into a business, yeah. please scan the market very well mm -hmm. and do a very good research. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to be the structured research that we know. Yeah. you know. It could be out of even in, intuition or, uh, or observation. Mm -hmm. You've gone to a place and you've realized uh, this, 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 this need. Mm -hmm. And the easiest way to do your research mm -hmm. is just go where people are complaining. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh -huh. Are people complaining about something? Mm -hmm. Then there's an opportunity right there and they are complaining. Okay. So you solve the problem they are complaining exactly. about? Exactly. It's that okay. simple. Okay. Okay. That's the easiest way to do your research. Mm -hmm. uh, many people don't know that, mm -hmm. but that is the easiest way. Mm -hmm. So if people say we travel so far to get clean water, mm -hmm. then you just no, they need clean water, yeah. clean, clean water right where mm. they are. So if people are saying uh, we, these products are affecting our, uh, our, our skin, mm. they need something. Yeah. If people are complaining out there, like people get loans from others and they don't pay, mm. there's a problem right mm. there. So can you create a solution? Mm -hmm. So if you listen to what people complain most, uh, then definitely you'll find a solution right there. You'll find a business opportunity right there. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Wow. So business isn't that tough. It's up to us to know how to go about it. And I love what you said that it's not only about marketing. Is whatever you're marketing, what perception does the people have about your particular product exactly. or service. Exactly. Yeah, very, very good points. Now, yes. would you say there's a specific time you need and you natakana could repair before once in the once you get the idea of the business you want to do until the day you literally now implement the business? Is uh, there a time? And what are you supposed to do Havo, during that time? Well, uh, there's no set time mm -hmm. when you can do something mm -hmm. uh, because um, most businesses thrive on mostly two things. Mm -hmm. Number one is timing. Mm -hmm. So did you strike at the right time? Uh, the timing where you start the business? Yes. Okay. So that is very important. Mm -hmm. And let me tell you why. Mm -hmm. It's not about how excellent mm -hmm. the product is. Mm -hmm. It's about, is it solving a pressing problem? Mm -hmm. And are you the first one? Mm -hmm. To start the business? To start it. Okay. Because there is always an advantage of the first people to solve a problem. Because mm -hmm. they don't have much of the pressure mm -hmm. to to. to to catch up with the competition. Mm -hmm. However, there are people who will come later after you, they copy what you're doing and they are smarter than you, they'll mm -hmm. find some problems that yeah. you're having or mm -hmm. they come in the market, they have 
some pick up financial muscle than you want. Mm-hmm. They have, you have just opened their eyes and they're like, ah, if we supply water there, it's good. Mm-hmm. Eh? Then they come and do like 20 of them. Yeah. And you use, or they have, have a capacity more. for one. Yeah. But yeah, there's no, uh, there's no time that mm-hmm. you need to take to, mm-hmm. to scan. Mm-hmm. But get into the market when you feel mm-hmm. you are ready mm-hmm. or the market is ready. Okay. So, so timing is one of them. Mm-hmm. Number two mm-hmm. is the resources that you have. Mm-hmm. So do you have the resources mm-hmm. or the product itself to, to, to do that? Okay. Because for example, if you're doing um, a, 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 a market that is that, that will need for you to develop maybe a software. Mm-hmm. So you will be limited by the time the software will take. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. yeah, but not really limited by the time you need to do the research. Mm. You can wake up in the morning, find an opportunity, and mm. that is all you need. Remember, I told you it's a, it's a problem. Mm-hmm. If you have to it's solve over. a problem yeah. that people are complaining about, mm-hmm. that's it. Mm-hmm. So how fast you solve the problem is is far much better than how long you take to do your research. Mm. Because you need to also, some of these products you learn on the job. Mm. There's no perfect mm. product you get to the market and say this is the perfect fit for it. No, mm-hmm. it keeps on improving. Yeah. So the faster you launch, the faster you get to the market mm-hmm. and start in, people start interacting with your product, mm-hmm. the better. Okay. Yes. Okay. yes. Wow, okay. And so uh, after you've now gotten into the market mm-hmm. and you're now pushing into the marketing yes. as you told us yes. what are the best marketing strategies that you'd use and um, now because you've been in business yeah. what do you think are the best strategies what are the strategies that work best uh, well there's no formula mm. for marketing mm-hmm. why because there are different products Mm-hmm. that require different approaches and mm-hmm. different services require different so it all depends mm-hmm. but there are of course those standard things mm-hmm. that you need to to learn and know about mm-hmm. and one of them that works magic mm-hmm. is a satisfied customer mm-hmm. i thought you'd started social media <laughs> not okay. really uh-huh. a satisfied customer okay. that one customer that mm-hmm. you serve satisfied Mm -hmm. goes tells another one customer Mm -hmm. and the multiplier effect is very very big Mm -hmm. and i'll tell you why that is important Mm -hmm. because it comes with not just one thing it comes with several things attached to it and one of them Mm -hmm. is validation Mm -hmm. remember you have launched something new Mm -hmm. in the market Mm -hmm. or you've started a new shop and all that Mm -hmm. then this one satisfied Mm customer goes and tells them ha you want nice clothes cheap mm. i found a place yeah so he goes and tells another one this mm. another one. so the repo effect mm-hmm. brings not just another customer mm-hmm. but validation mm-hmm. because validation in business is very very important yeah so that's number one mm-hmm. the satisfied customer number two mm. is now the the tools that you have because you have so many marketing tools mm-hmm. one of them is the social media yeah. it's it's cheap very cheap to do mm. uh, in terms of if you're doing it yourself mm-hmm. uh, it's it, it easy yeah. to, to navigate mm-hmm. and it doesn't have like those require very very big budget mm. now if you want to go mass and probably you're targeting a very big market mm-hmm. then now you can think of influencers mm, okay you, you can use influencers mm. now for people who are doing things like um, the products that are targeting people in the local places like um, uh, who are selling um, product, uh, farming products, mm-hmm. or they are selling seedlings, or mm-hmm. they are selling whatever they are selling, and is targeting the local out people out there. Mm-hmm. Instead of putting your budget on maybe a mainstream media, mm-hmm. you can look for a, a regional radio or mm-hmm. a regional TV station, okay. or uh, um, and, and use them mm-hmm. or regional influencers. Mm-hmm. Because what, what what has happened in the marketing uh, space mm-hmm. is that people have influence in different local places. Yeah. You'll find a, a very good influencer in Akuru, mm-hmm. but he's not known in Nairobi. Sure. 
But if you want to target Nakuru market, mm. that guy will give you the best pro- the yeah. best uh, result. Mm. You go to other places. So you need to identify when you're working with influencers mm. who are these people who influence mm. that particular area. Okay. The last part that mm. I would mention is partnerships. Mm-hmm. Work with work a lot with partnerships. Yeah. Don't don't be don't work alone. Mm. See can this product if i take it to maybe a distributor mm-hmm. can it go faster than when i have to buy my own rollies mm-hmm. and distribute myself mm-hmm. so these are the things because distribution is also part of marketing mm-hmm. uh, people most people don't know that but yeah. if you have a good distribution channel mm-hmm. it's a big big plus for you okay. so if you have a good a guy who knows uh, all the distributors across kenya mm-hmm. you just need to tell him hey bro i have this product yeah. Uh, I want you to move to different part of the market. Mm-hmm. I'll give you this uh, on wholesale, you sell it this. Mm-hmm. It's a marketing. So when people are coming to buy from that local shop, mm-hmm. they are told, oh, there was this salt, yeah. but now it's this other yes, new one. Yeah. They will try it and mm-hmm. they try, they find, ah, it's good. Mm-hmm. So you win, you want that through a distribution yeah. channel. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so yeah. distribution is also very important. It's Don't critical. just do everything alone. Exactly. Ah, yeah, okay. partnerships. Yeah. Mm, okay. Yeah. Now, um, in the in the marketing and uh, the business industry, things change, mm-hmm. trends are changing each and every day. Something new has come up, yeah. and especially with the social media, things are really really changing fast. Yeah. Yeah. So, in marketing, um, does the marketing trends change, or you can just, as you've said, get um, get to one style of marketing Mm -hmm. and then hold on to that and that works or you have to keep researching and change the trends of marketing Uh, one one thing that is constant is change Mm -hmm. everywhere Mm -hmm. (laughs) whether it's in marketing whether it's the product that you're creating Mm -hmm. whether it's things will always keep changing yeah and one of the things that will push you really hard Mm -hmm. is the competitors Mm -hmm. these are the people that they'll force you to change Mm -hmm. Whether you want it or, or not, not. True. you know, by force, by fire, yeah. <laughs> you just have to change. Yeah. They, they'll push you, they'll mm-hmm. make you to be more innovative. Mm-hmm. And the beauty of change is that it will improve things. Mm-hmm. Things always mm-hmm. get better, yeah. even with competition. Mm-hmm. Competition is not bad. Mm-hmm. When you open on a shop and somebody opens another shop, they are yeah. celebrate. Mm-hmm. Don't yeah. start honestly. <laughs> okay. Uh, Go to places like uh, in Nairobi, you find Kilinyaga Road as all the spare parts. Mm. This, this is it's a natural thing. Yeah. Uh, in, in the wild, it's called commensalism, mm-hmm. where when you're together, we increase our chances of survival. Mm. So when you see somebody opening a shop next to you, yeah. you know that it's important that you guys are together. Mm-hmm. That's why you find even banks, mm-hmm. they open close, close to, each to each other. other. It's okay. a natural thing okay and if you learn from your from it helps you to learn from your competitors mm. because no they are just right at your doorstep mm. so you'll find uh this 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 competitor is uh, is packaging things in nicely for customers mm-hmm. he's escorting customers he's mm-hmm. thanking customers and mm-hmm. you're like ah i'll also start thanking my yeah. customers you know mm-hmm. there's something you learn from mm-hmm. it so change is constant and competitors will push you to 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 change mm-hmm. but the best thing is what you call internal innovation mm-hmm. where you innovate with from within you call your team and brainstorm mm-hmm. together if you have big uh, some money you hire expert and get ideas yeah. on how to improve it before the competitors force mm-hmm. you to improve mm-hmm. that way you'll always be ahead of the rest and mm-hmm. you have seen corporations that are always innovating mm-hmm. and changing and coming with a new product yeah. because that is what will keep you in business mm-hmm. otherwise you don't change mm-hmm. uh, trust me in a few in a few years mm-hmm. you'll be out of business oh okay yeah, okay yeah, so you yeah. have to incorporate change and i love yes. what you've said that competition is healthy very healthy so if you're in business and you feel like the competition is really high you just know that it is healthy. Absolutely. It's okay. Yes. yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Now, uh, what would be your parting shot in terms of marketing? Um, and you'd probably refer to the businesses that you've opened and now that you've seen your businesses have been doing well. And even funny enough, maybe to just throw it in there, that the second uh, HPSA 
you opened it after H pass. Yes. But you say that H pesa has made even More major strides stride, yes. than the first business yes. that you yes. opened. Yes. So I I would really want to know how that happened. <laughs> And uh, why yeah. why is it that you feel like the second one ilikuja ni kama make more strides than the first it's, it's learning when you learn something mm. uh, you go better so next time you're executing the next thing mm. or oh, you do it better you do it better and then okay. next time you always getting sharper every time mm. you're trying new things okay. uh, and this one is also to encourage somebody who started something mm. and they, they maybe they didn't do well mm-hmm. please don't be rigid on mm-hmm. that don't say hey, i'm known to sell clothes mm. please try shoes okay. try try food stuff mm-hmm. try try something else mm-hmm. target a new market okay. try that something mm-hmm. i think that will be really critical for mm-hmm. for somebody to, to do so we have had a lot of learnings mm-hmm. and they have worked for us okay. uh, uh for the, the couple of years mm-hmm. that you have been in business mm-hmm. we are seriously seriously innovating mm-hmm. uh, we don't sleep we keep thinking of yeah. what is this next thing that we can do mm-hmm. uh so that's why i think uh it's better did better Uh, mm. it's doing better than yeah, than than the other than mm. and uh and of course i tend to think also now uh, your favorite 1000 lenses will probably even do better yes because <laughs> even if you look at the social media platforms yeah. mm. the kind of push mm. that is there in terms mm. of 1000 lenses yeah. the hype mm. and the, the good, reception and the reception yes. again I don't know but it mm. probably will do far yeah. much better than the rest. And then because you're talking about that there's something else that's coming. There's an app that you had mentioned to do good before we got on air. Tell us a little bit about that before you bring in the pattern shots. Yeah, as I mentioned we are we are innovating every day. We mm-hmm. want to target uh, quite unique markets because mm-hmm. our companies are focused on innovation. Mm-hmm. We look at problems mm-hmm. and then we innovate around them, create solutions yeah. and we make sure they the solutions are very innovative mm-hmm. so you're building something on uh, hospitality industry mm-hmm. uh, especially in the areas of uh, uh, airbnbs mm-hmm. and uh, uh, you know the 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 the, the, the rights and all that mm-hmm. because already the, the the market for on demand mm-hmm. is already mm-hmm. taken care of okay but what about the scheduled ones mm-hmm. So this the, the on demand is key. It's okay. Yeah, yeah. But what about the scheduled the ones where you need to schedule for something mm-hmm. like for example um I'm going to Kisumu tomorrow. Mm-hmm. I'll arrive late in the evening and I need somebody waiting for me there with mm-hmm. either boda boda mm-hmm. or or or, uh, or a taxi. A taxi. Yeah. So uh, we, those are scheduled pre-planned pro, uh, mm-hmm. uh you don't want to land to Kisumu and start looking for healing mm. cups there yeah. uh, probably they are not there mm-hmm. so you're building you're innovating around that space okay. uh, we'll definitely be launching very soon mm-hmm. we'll we'll invite you for the you launch wait? we'll innovate yeah. you to look at it mm-hmm. yeah but something that's going to the market very soon okay. uh, and uh, definitely it will solve problems mm-hmm. to quite a number of people yeah. many people large to places like uh Nanyuki, for example mm-hmm. and now you have to know someone to know where to sleep yep <laughs> We have hotels that yeah. have last minute rooms like mm-hmm. the rooms are not full mm-hmm. and people are struggling to look for rooms. Yeah. So why don't you have a platform where mm-hmm. you can book those last minute rooms? Okay. So those are the areas we are mm-hmm. looking at to mm-hmm. to venture into. Mm. Yeah. Innovation yeah. innovation. Mesema how much people innovate uh, each and every day thinking of something. On, <laughs> every time we hear a complaint, yeah. we go and think there's a solution. There's a problem, can okay. just make a solution out of it. Okay. And of course make money. Ah, yeah. Perfect. You see business is more than meets the eye where you see a problem, there's a solution and the solution can bring you money. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So what would be your parting shots? Um don't ignore marketing. Mm-hmm. Uh, marketing is what keeps the the the, the company running. Yeah. Uh invest some invest in marketing. Mm-hmm. Whether it's time mm-hmm. or it's money. Mm-hmm. If you don't know how to do it get somebody to help you to do it okay. if you can do it invest time to do it mm-hmm. especially with social media mm-hmm. if you're selling clothes just take a photo of that clothes put mm-hmm. it on your status somebody yeah. will see it they love it they'll buy mm-hmm. like ensure every day you're talking about your product mm-hmm. every every time you see an opportunity mm-hmm. to talk about your product mm-hmm. talk about it. if you go to a forum and mm-hmm. you sell maize and uh, it's a somewhere yeah 
and people have called you to pray mm -hmm. before you pray tell them I'm a <laughs> right it's marketing yeah because when when will you ever get a chance to talk to 100 people mm. together again yeah so before mm. you pray tell them Use you the know chance. what I sell me. So mm. after this, if you need base, please talk mm. to me now. Let's pray. Okay. Rather, yeah. just marketing. take every second opportunity to, mm. to market it. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Perfect. Thank you for being with us on this episode. Most as welcome. I say, it has just started. This is a very unique one because it helps every business, whether it's a service, whether it's a product that you're selling, it helps. So I hope that you've learned from this. And I hope that this is now when you get serious with marketing and now you know how to go about marketing how we find you too Cindy. so thank you so much for coming and thank you so much for tuning in we value your time and i know that you've gotten something from, uh, from this particular episode my name is kahogo and today to make one uh, this very beautiful episode hosted by the one forever homes i know that you've had an episode with, uh, with forever homes and um You've been seeing some clips as we continue. Naizoni clips is what is forever homes. If you need to get an Airbnb, um, probably with Nairobi, and uh, it's, it's a bit late, you need somewhere to spend the night, or you're here for a vacation, and you need somewhere that you can stay, forever homes is the place to be. The best service, very clean, very classy. This is the place to be. Sawa sawa. So their numbers are there. Give them a call, and they know utasotiwa. So this has been the Business Plus live on MBCI TV and MBCI TV Facebook page and MBCI TV official YouTube page. My name is Kahogo. I'll see you tomorrow on Tuesday on uh, the repeat of the same at 2.30 in the p.m. Until then, God bless you. God be with you. Have an amazing rest of the week. Bye-bye.